Zach here with ECU Master USA. What we're doing today, we're starting a new thing. We're gonna start a new build series. So what we're gonna do is start showing you some of the things we're doing here in-house. We've always got some exciting builds, new projects, new products that we're developing. Uh, this project in particular has special meaning to me because this car has been in my family for 23 years. My dad purchased this for my mother for a surprise anniversary gift in, my math serves me, I think 1998. Uh, he bought it with, I think, 28,000 miles on it. It's still pretty much a cream puff some cosmetic issues, but it is 100% stock. Uh, we're gonna start by using this car to develop a plug and play adapter for the 1.6 NA Miata. And then, since I'm an idiot, I've got a whole built drivetrain for it ready to go in. So built motor, six speed, turbo kit, big wheels and tires, coilovers, roll bar, everything. And we're gonna show you the whole process step by step. So not only is it gonna be fun to watch the build as we progress along, but also it's gonna be educational and informative because we're gonna show you how to install EC Master products, suspension products, uh, we're going to show you what goes into developing a new plug and play adapter. I'm going to put an ADU dash in this because I have full intentions to take it to the track and have logging capabilities and predictive lap timing. So anyway, this is uh, the first video of a series and we're going to start documenting all the builds we do here in house as we develop new products and test new features. All right, just to give you a breakdown of the car as we start, um, this is actually kind of a relatively low option car. Um, this didn't have any extra packages. It was uh, an 89 build date. Uh, again, this car has 136,000 miles on it now. So my parents put just over 100,000 miles on it. Uh, from the factory, it had an open differential. I think my dad may have swapped in a Torsen. Um, it's the 1.6 engine that all the, NA, the early NA, NA Miatas had. Uh, it is 100% stock. I, I think the only exception is the plug wires. Um, but again, it's, it's lived an easy life, literally driven by a grandmother. Um, never been to the track. You know, I think the only street race that was ever done in this car was probably me when I snuck the keys out in high school. Don't tell my mom. Uh, stock suspension. These wheels are off of a 94, I believe, because they have snow tires on them, because um, this is a backup set for my dad's 93 LE Miata. But really, 100% stock. This is a factory Mazda hardtop off of a different car. Uh, once we get all the mechanical stuff done, we'll get it repainted and clean it up. I've got new interior, uh, new leather seat covers for it, a new audio system. But what we're gonna do to start is just make it safe to drive. So that doesn't include 12-year-old snow tires. So first up, we've got wheels and tires. I've got a set of uh, teen coilovers for it, and we'll do an alignment after that. And from there, we'll do a plug and play adapter with an EMU Classic or EMU Black. We'll test both and make base maps for both. Uh, so I'll get it running well mechanically. Uh, the AC actually blows cold. This car did have AC, uh, I believe. I believe this car has power steering. I need to double check. Yep, it does. So this is a power steering and AC car. Um, so yeah, I mean, first step is to get it up to snuff mechanically, get the snow tires off it, do some suspension work and make it drivable, and then we'll start doing a plug and play adapter development, and we'll go from there. So once that's done, we'll rip out the whole drivetrain. I've got a built BP4W out of uh, like a 99 Miata, a six-speed trans, the bigger diff with the Torsen, and all the goodies to go underneath it. So I, I really wanted to lay the parts out like this because I grew up building model cars like a lot of you probably did. I remember what it looked like when you had the plastic frame with all the parts you had to snap out. And I'd, I really wanted to see everything visualized all in one place because normally I buy this stuff, it goes on a shelf and it collects dust until I don't have time to work on it. So I really wanted to get everything out in the open and see it all at once and kind of visualize the whole build front to back. Um, you know, growing up, I didn't have a lot of expendable cash. So it was always, you know, one piece at a time and I'd sell the aftermarket part to upgrade to the next one as I couldn't afford the good stuff in the first place. So it was really fun for me to buy everything all at once since this is, you know, a long time family car to do the build right from the start and do it all at once. All right, we got our big bag of goodies here. I'm gonna walk you through the whole build front to back. So I wasn't planning on going this crazy with the Miata all at first. And then a friend of one of my employees was posting up his whole build for sale, built drivetrain, everything. So I kind of went crazy and got most of the parts from him but I'll start from uh, wheels and tires and suspension first and then walk you through the mechanical. So we've got some Koenig wheels. I forgot the model, but it's one of their flow formed models that are new, extremely lightweight, nice and rigid. Uh, it's a 15 by nine. And then got Hankook uh, 225, 45, 15 RS4s on them. Uh, I mounted those up and ceramic coated them so they're all pretty and ready to go. I've got Team Flex coilovers and that rounds up the suspension for now. I'll probably do sway bars eventually, and I'll see what condition the bushings are in and see what needs addressed once we get under the car. Uh, Drivetrain-wise, this is a BP4W, so that's the motor out of an NB1 Miata, so I think 99 and 2000. So it does not have variable cam timing. Um, but they're really robust in stock form, and this one's actually been built. So it has rods and pistons. I believe the compression's between eight and a half and nine to one. Uh, it was built for a turbo setup, and it does have valve springs, metal head gasket, uh, should have ARP head studs or bolts. Um, so it's, it's ready to go. The car was running and driving and tuned before, I think it wasn't tuned, it was running and driving and broken in. 
Um, so we'll get it obviously tuned, so that's what we do. It's a track speed Borg Warner EFR turbo kit. So it's a cast stainless manifold. And this is a Borg Warner 6258, which on the very top end should make about 400 horsepower, uh, which is kind of stupid in this car. It should be fun. We've got a, an NB1 six speed transmission, torsen differential. I uh, don't know the ratio, I think it's a 410. Uh, we've got the axles out of an NB. Um, so all that's ready to drop in the car. Uh, we've got a, I think an XD clutch and flywheel. We've got new uh, synthetic leather, so vinyl seat covers, new upholstery. We've got Kenwood components, Sony head unit, uh, NBX three and a for the headrest speakers, a sub for the factory footwell, Scar Audio eight inch sub, and then five channel amp to run everything for the audio side. Uh, what else? We've got an EMU black, an ADU five. We've got this really cool trim piece from Mako Motorsports. They're out of Australia. It's a beautiful 3D printed mount, so the AD5 will go right into the factory cluster and look 100% OEM. And we've got the drive shaft and power plant brace out of the NB, full three inch mandrel exhaust all the way back. And I think that rounds it out. So we've got an audio system interior, wheels and tires, coilovers, motor, turbo kit, everything ready to go. So once we do all the baseline work on the 1.6, we'll rip everything out and put the new drivetrain in it. Thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for more content. We'll keep you updated as we progress with the build. If you'd like to be notified when we release new content, you can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, you name it. We're on all major platforms. Appreciate it.